Hello, May class, and welcome to your next English lesson. In the previous lesson, you were boxing up your information about Mrs. Bowen. And in today's lesson, we are going to be turning the information that you have got into an introduction for our non-chronological report about Mrs. Bowen. So let me share my screen with you. Give me a second. So, like I said, in today's lesson, we will be writing out the first section of our non-chronological report about Mrs. Bowen. To start off, we're going to create some sentences using sentence starters. So I'm going to click our word wall. Um, I'm going to spin our wheel there. And you are going to have a... Um, um, we're going to do five of these. So you're going to have a sentence starter that I would like you to use when you are writing a sentence, any sentence at all about Mrs. Bowen. So let me get to that page. So I'll give you an example. So for example, we spin this. Right, so we have got the word normally. So if I had to write a quick sentence about Mrs. Bowen using the sentence starter normally, I'm going to write it over here. I'm going to say normally. Comma, Mrs. Bowen, the capital M, Bowen. can be seen walking up and down the, and I'm going to use some descriptive words, long corridors of her school or if we want to make it a bit more exciting of her outstanding outstanding school okay so my sentence says normally Mrs. Bowen can be seen walking up and down the long corridors of her outstanding school, full stop. Okay, so you can see how I've used my sentence starter in a sentence about Mrs. Bowen. So what you're going to do is I'm going to spin the wheel and you are going to use the wheel to write five sentences that start with your sentence starter about Mrs. Bowen. So let's get going. So we have usually, In addition, okay, we're going to eliminate that one because we've used it. Uh, we'll just do that to spin. Strangely enough, some interesting ones here although and one more And we've got normally. Okay, so I'm going to go back to our 
page. So your sentence starters that you are going to be writing with today are as follows. We have got usually, we have got in addition, we have got strangely, naf, we have got although, and we have got normally. Okay. So pause the video now and see what five sentences you can make that start with these sentence starters. Right, so we're going to be using our box up today to write the first part of our non-chronological report. And obviously this is going to be about Mrs. Bowen. So remember what our um, we said went into our introduction. We had a rhetorical question. We introduced it to what the whole non-chronological report would be about. And we had read on to find out more. The information that we used in um, our box up was as following. So when we boxed up some ideas about Mrs. Bowen, we said, have you ever wondered? Because that was a good way of starting. We used the word fantastic head teacher. We've got what being a head teacher is like, read on to find out more, leads a school. So I've got just some ideas that I want. And remembering that although this one was in the past tense, Mrs. Bowen is still alive and we're talking about today. So it would be the present tense, is something to remember. So I want you to pause for a moment and look at what you have written in your introduction. So. As mentioned, we're going to be turning our information into a paragraph, obviously. So we've got um, our information here. So using our box up, we're going to write the introduction together. So I'm going to take the information that I've written here. I'm going to screenshot the little bit that we've got here so that we can have it in the corner for our introduction. And then I'm going to put it where I can see it over here so that we can refer back to it when we are going to be writing. So you can also look at your um, bit that you wrote for Boudicca. That will be able to help you to structure your sentences and look at what goes into it. So. So we are going to be starting our introductory paragraph. Now, before we start writing our paragraph, we also need to make sure that we have a heading. Remember our heading for our Boudicca paragraph was um, Boudicca, the queen of the Iceni tribe. So this one is going to have to say something along the lines of, um, it's got to mention maybe Mrs. Bowen, and the fact that she's a head teacher. So we could say Mrs. Bowen um, Fantastic Head Teacher. Okay, so it gives you a little bit about what we're going to be writing about. Remember that you are also going to underline this with a ruler, making sure that it is nice and neat. Now we're going to start with a, um, we're going to start with our rhetorical question. So I'm going to start with a capital H. I'll show you in a different color. And then I'm going to say, have you ever wondered Have you ever wondered what, and that's, I've made a mistake with the sizing of that.
makes a good head teacher in an outstanding school because we want to add on that extra bit of information in an out standing school and of course because it is a question it is a rhetorical question i'm going to put a rhetorical question and a question mark so i've done my rhetorical question mark i've also used um have you ever wondered i used fantastic head teacher in my heading okay and i've also said what being a head teacher is like we could have said that um we could ask another rhetorical question because we we've done this before where we use more than one to get them uh get the reader thinking so we want we could say do you do you want to um no more about um what being a head teacher is like Again, it ends with a question. Okay. Have you ever wondered what makes a good head teacher in an outstanding school? Do you want to know about what being a head teacher is? Do you want to know more about what, be, what being a head teacher is? Do you want to know more about what being a head teacher is like? So I'm going to tick that one. So now we're going to say with a capital R. I'm going to say read on to find out more about read on to find out more about a and let's think of a different word for fantastic because we've already used fantastic once how else could you describe mrs bowen so we could use the word extraordinary or extraordinary so let's think read on to find out more about a head teacher let's use that word but we're going to use it slightly differently head teacher Read on to find out more about a head teacher who leads an extra extraordinary school in. And I'm going to say Slough, and obviously Slough is the name of a place, so we're going to have a capital S. Okay, and we're going to finish this there. So we've said, have you ever wondered what makes a good head teacher in an outstanding school? Do you want to know more about what being a head teacher is like? Read on to find out more about a head teacher who leads an extraordinary school in Slough. So we've used what the notes that we've made. We've made sure that it's written in the present tense. We've introduced it or the reader to the topic that we're going to be writing about. But we haven't mentioned Mrs. Bowen by name other than in the heading. And we haven't said anything else about who she is or what she does or how she does it, because that will then go into the rest of our writing.
So as you can see, I have um, typed up nice and neatly so we can see um, and we can read it. So I've said, have you ever wondered, comma, what makes a good head teacher in an outstanding school? Question mark, capital letter. Do you want to know more about being a head teacher? What being, do you want to know more about what being a head teacher is like? Question mark. Then um, capital letter, read on to find out more about a head teacher who leads an extraordinary school in Slough. And Slough has a capital letter and then our whole sentence ends with a full stop. So you can see from the little notes that I made that I've used everything in here and turned it into an introductory paragraph. So your three tasks today are as follows. You're going to write out the introduction that we have done for your non-chronological report. So you're going to be writing out this one, okay? Nice and neatly for us. You're going to choose five sentences from the sentence starters that I'm going to um, put below, and you're going to create your own sentences about Mrs. Bowen. And then the third task is for you to write your own introduction about Mrs. Bowen for a non-chronological report. You can refer back to the one that we um, have uh, just done previously, looking at what we've done. Maybe you want to write um, using your pattern of three. So you have three rhetorical questions that you could use. Maybe you want to use different um, adjectives. Maybe you want to ask slightly different questions. So that's up to you. The tasks one and two are going to be on the next slide. I will show them to you, but you're going to write out neatly the introduction that we have just done together. You are then going to use sentence starters like we did um, previously. You're going to um, choose five of the sentence starters below and create your own sentences about Mrs. Bowen. And then you are going to write your own introduction um, about Mrs. Bowen for your non-chronological report. Right, as mentioned, this is maybe slightly easier for you to see on the next page. Your three tasks are as follows. Write out this introduction here um, neatly for us, making sure to pay attention to your capital letters, your punctuation, and having a good heading for that. Then you are going to choose five of these sentence starters below and create your own sentences about Mrs. Bowen. Then as a third activity, you are going to write your own introduction for the non-chronological reports about Mrs. Bowen. This doesn't have to be long. You can see from my one here that it's not half a page long. It's um, That one is two, four, five sentences and a little bit. So it's not a very, uh, it's not a very big amount of information. So don't make um, your inter introductions too long and also make sure that you're not putting uh, information that shouldn't be in your introduction into that introduction. Please make sure to share your um, work with us on Tapestry. I'd really love to see the sentences you come up with and your introductory paragraphs.